we do have some highlights here, and hopefully that is going to help you understand that Gideon, he played his little mind out at the beginning of this game. And, uh, you know, the, the ulti flash is pretty cool from Yukal as well, but Gideon did do his job in the early game. Yeah. You know, Visto just unable to react to that. There were a few, uh, you know, issues in the bottom side of the map for both squads. Uh, we saw kills traded back and forth, but Vista otherwise was very impactful around the map. His Solar Flare has ended up leading to a lot of different kills. His Solar Flare on that late game team fight, which I'm sure we'll get a, a shot of later, where he actually put it on top of the Lantern, was really awesome to see. And once Chovy got ahead enough like this, he was able to even bait fights like this, bait exchanges like this. And these are the small mistakes that Gideon made where he just saw too much um, too much opportunity where there wasn't any and tried to force things they didn't need to. This is a <laughs> sick play. Chovy yeah. double dash, Gale Force in, gets the kill. Celebrates in a shockwave. Yep. Just goes for a, a bit of a merry jaunt in the washing machine. Another solar flare here to set this one up. And even though the, you know, you you said it very, very well in the draft, even though we were a little bit worried and a little bit, we had a little bit of question marks over our head um, with the Leona pick here, the success of how it operated in the late game and how it yeah. went against the Lee Sin was actually beautiful. How it operates outside of the laning phase, right? Like yeah. it's never, it's never really that, that great option isolated in the laning phase, but when you've got, you know, the solar flare that can start off fights exactly right, when you can layer all of your CC so beautifully alongside something like the Varus and the Nidalee as well, like giving them the ability to basically have point and click because the people are stopped, that makes the spears hurt more, the arrows hurt more, and all of this poke so much more valuable. So I liked it in the end, but uh, this was Harmal Life Esports playing their draft, the complete opposite to how KT uh, have done so far in this series, which is Answer, answering things in isolation instead of constructing yourself multiple outs and multiple ways to win the game. Yeah. Oh. And these are the final moments here. I just want to I, I tap my hat for Morgan as well. I think this was really the day of Morgan and Johan stepping up. And uh, Morgan is demonstrating exactly what made him valuable uh, on WE as well, which is just very stable weak side play. And when you can do that on a team with Chovy and Deft, that's almost exactly what you want, right? It's yeah. what Ghost is for uh, Dom One Kia. Yeah, this it, is it, happening it, on the other it, side of the map. His versatility is something that I, I, I think that we so. really need to start so. highlighting. And just the yeah. versatility of, of Honda Life oh. Esports in general. Oh. 17 oh. champions for Chovy oh. this season. Oh. And oh. We're almost at the end of the regular season. He might hit 20, who knows? Oh. This is uh, oh. one of those matches where it felt like Honda Life Esports were massively favored in it.